Algebra 1, <clears throat> Unit 2B Study Guide, numbers 4, 5, and 6. So on number 4, we're going to sketch the graph and then label that inequality. So we have 9 is greater than or equal to x. If I were to turn that around, the inequality is going to follow the variable. So that would be x is less than or equal to 9. So I'm going to make sure I have 9 on my number. So the way that I do that is I do a 0 mark and then a positive 9 and a negative 9. Just something to establish a scale. I'm going to put a solid mark at 9 because it can be equal to. And then x represents the shaded area. So the shaded area needs to be less than or equal to 9. So I'm going to show it like that. So this is everything that is less than or equal to 9. Or if I read the inequality this way, 9 is greater than or equal to all of that shaded area. On number 5, the longest high school football game in recorded history was played in Arkansas. Jacksonville High School defeated the hometown Nacogdoches High School in a game that had 12 overtimes. 165 points and ran five and a half hours. The game started at 7.30 and finished at 1 a.m. Now here's what we need to do. Write and graph an inequality that represents the time of all the other high school football games. So there were lots of numbers given in this problem, but all we need is to focus on is the time. So the longest game was five and a half hours. That means all other high school football games have to be less than that. So we'll represent all the other high school football team times with X and say those are all going to be less than. They're not going to be equal to because that would mean it would tie for the longest game. So less than 5 and a half. And I'm just going to write that as 5.5. .5. And then to graph it, we'll just put a positive five and a half, a negative five and a half. I'm going to graph this a little differently though in that I'll have an open circle and then my shaded area will be less than but I'm going to stop that at zero and then I'm going to come over here and add greater than I guess a high school football game could have no time so we'll say equal to and then we'll fill that in. So because this is a real life situation, we will put that stipulation of between no time and five and a half hours because we know that time can't go into the negative. Number six, the International Conference on Concussions in Sports published a consensus statement about the steps and time required for recovery from concussions. Their recommendation is a six step process which would take no less than six days if an athlete was symptom free at each stage. So write an inequality that represents the times recommended to recover from a concussion. So we know that it's going to be six and the time is going to represent x. Now the inequality has to show no less than six. So that means it needs to be greater than. It also means that it could be equal to because the only requirement is that it can't be less than six. So that means it could be equal to six hours or it could be greater to greater than as well. It doesn't say to graph it, but let's go ahead and do that. So we could put our six, our negative six, and then greater than or equal to six.